tune in and talk hurricanes on the line. We always looking for a QB to drop some dime. We talking to you with Sebastian Lane. Only scouting five star players to impact the game. And the whole point is to make a run for the ship. Throwing bones, whether we at home or on a trip. What we want, blue chips. Or a beast in the middle of that defense to make a hit or flip. When they try to come through the eight gap without block, you can bet whoever got the rock face get slapped. You know that you only bring in the fastest. Bonafide athletes that can catch it or pass it. Electrifying talent that can take it to the house. Coming for the top dogs, I'm the coasting in the south. So if you think you know the game, get your talk on. And if you ain't riding with the canes, go on ahead and get your walk on. We talking about the game with Sebastian Lane. And scouting the recruits that can really bang Players with stats to make the Hall of Fame It's called a dynasty, watch it rise again We talking about the game with Sebastian Lane And scouting the recruits that can really bang Players with stats to make the Hall of Fame It's called a dynasty, watch it rise again Yo, real quick, D I don't know if it's just me or something, but Bro, reading these chats, man, it look like we might be having somebody supposed to be on the like on the on the video with us, or like I don't know, bro. Uh, is there somebody blooming? Is there somebody coming on or something? I don't know, bro. Uh, I mean, bes- bes- besides us, besides me, right? We're not, we're not good enough no more. You feel me? Our chat ain't never been buzzing like this, man. That hurts Jeez. a little bit. That hurts, right? A little bit, I gotta tell you. Nah, so- no, no. You cut out, bro. What's up? Nah, I can hear you now. All right. You cut out for a second. All right. Yeah, well, that's just what I do. Um, <laughs> now, we'll look around, see if we can find somebody hanging around. Maybe somebody might pop up. I don't know. Maybe somebody wears a number 44 jersey. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Kind of see what goes on, man. Um, so, we appreciate everybody coming on, man. I already have like 100 sitting here chilling as we get into the intro. Um, we might be having somebody. I don't know. Um, seems like y'all know more than us in the chat. Um, he might be on in the next 10, 15 minutes. We'll see kind of how it goes. Um, so how we feeling, D? Thursday night, getting ready to go into our second major weekend um, in, in January. We're a little less than a week away from uh, National Signing Day. How we feeling, bro? Yeah, uh, yeah, like you said, another big weekend coming up. But this one, this this one that counts. I mean, last week when it was great, uh, you know, a lot going on, a lot of excitement. You know, basketball, ba- you know, there's a basketball game going on. Just a lot going on, a lot, a lot about. You was there, you seen me, you know, better than I did. A lot of bodies floating around. Mm-hmm. But this weekend, we're talking 22. We're talking right now. We need we need to fill some spots, and we got it. I think we got a good shot. I think we got a few guys uh, that that we got a really nice shot with this weekend, and we got some guys that we're getting the important last visit, you know. Right. Uh, and I think that counts a lot. Once Mario gets these guys on campus, um, it seems to help. So hopefully we'll get some news, man. Um, you know, like I said, it, this is when it counts. It's just twenty two, so it's time to go. We need it's time to go. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, why y'all here, man? Um, y'all go smash the like button for us. We got a nice little show planned for you guys. Um, just tune in. Um, y'all's fan favorite, as y'all see. Y'all are here for a reason, obviously. They'll be here in a few. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, you know, we held a show uh, last week just for the 2023 class for the visitors. Real quick, shout out to Armando at the 1999. Don't know if I burn to the U. And I'm hoping we can get him to commit, bro. Um, that would definitely be a great addition. But yeah, bro. So last week we had an amazing show, right? We talked the 23 class, talked the EPD and battle camp. Um, we're definitely going to dig more into that a little later in the show and stuff as we wrap everything up. Um, but this week, talking 2022, right? Um, huge headlining um, visits coming ahead. Uh, what, two five stars, I believe? Or at least I know it's two five stars for sure. Um, um, I think Connolly's a five star as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, Connolly and uh, Shamar. Yeah, um, I don't know about Kristen Miller. I don't know if he's a four star or five star. But I think either way, he's a highly rated dude. Um, so and it's crazy because we got some guys that are from the home team in Ahmad Moten and um, R. Mason Thomas, who is somebody we've already had on the show. Um, so you know, it's definitely something. This weekend's gonna be packed. Right, the rusty pelican is about to be filled up with recruits <laughs> and parents. 
Um, so it's going to be fun, man. I can't wait. Um, we're going to talk a little more detail into that as well. Um, real quick, Alex, appreciate the dono, bro. $20. Bring us the jackhammer. Man, listen, this dude is, is it's insane, man. Um, from the first time we had this guy um, on our show to, you know, this time, um, he's been a guy that's been very consistent with me and Dave. We talk to this kid every day, nearly. I know I do. Uh, we text a lot. Um, and not even just about the hurricanes or his recruiting. Uh, we talk about fishing. We talk about uh, just everyday life, school, um, about, you know, his business, obviously. But he's a good kid, bro. And just his mindset is is just different. You know, he don't care about who's the next man or what school he's going to, what offers he has, bro. He just he wants to get out and just get on the field, you know, get in the weight room and get better, go out and compete. Those are the kids that kind of built the program, you know, um, decades and decades ago right so obviously we want to talk a lot about jack today right that's what everybody wants to, to hear um so real quick before we get on dave did we see something like an announcement he made earlier today did you see the announcement he posted about his new ranking yeah yeah uh rivals uh dropped his another star over there uh mm -hmm. four star well deserved uh okay. Past due, uh, I don't know how in the world that kid was ever even looked at a three star and how he didn't have just offers, you know, uh, coming out of the woodworks. But it is what it is. I know, I know that means a lot to him, and it should. That's a big deal, and he's worked his tail off for it. That's one of those young men that you love to see them get that because he has earned every single bit of it. Um, mm -hmm. I know we've had maybe some rumors that two four seven is going to up his ranking as well. And I hope they do that, like I said, just for him. But he, he's one of those guys, he doesn't really need the hype and the hoopla and, and all that. But it's just well-deserved. And you want to see that young man get everything coming to him. So I really hope that happens for him. And big congrats to him for doing that. Yeah, no doubt, bro. Um, you know, I talked to him Monday night before his uh, visit or his in-home visit with Mario and uh, Coach Salabea. Um, mm -hmm. And just talking to him, bro, you know, he was excited. Um, I'm gonna let him tell you know tell the story and stuff like that. Um, just hearing the excitement, bro. You know it, it's it's refreshing. You know because the kid worked so hard for that, and for him to get what he worked for, what he deserves, you know what he wanted. I mean it just speaks volumes, right? Um, so I'm gonna let him tell the tell the story. You know I'm gonna let him kind of check the back end and everything else. I don't want to spoil the kid's moment. You know. Um, but he also made another announcement, right? Matter of fact, when are you wait no longer, right? We'll go ahead and bring the man him on himself, right? Boom! What's going on, my man? I think you're on mute, bro. Nah, hold on. Mm, what about now? There we go. There we go. We good? Yeah. Man, I'm just... I was telling Dave, man, right, right as we hopped on, bro, you, you would think the chat, they were expecting somebody, man. Like, <laughs> it was just out of nowhere, right? Like, our chat, we usually get, you know, 100 or so people in here before, you know, we go mainstream and talk about everything. Man, we had almost 200 people live, about 60, 70 comments. And it's pretty funny, man, because this is all I've seen, right? This, this is legit yeah. all I keep seeing down the timeline, man. So, it's mean, like ever, ever since we had you on the show, like we're not good enough no more. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm a little bit bothered. I ain't going to lie. I'm a little yeah, bothered. Bro. So, and it's crazy because, man, like we keep getting uh getting these donos, man. We ain't used to this type of stuff, man. These, these dudes showing Jack love, bro. So, nah, awesome. man, we appreciate you coming on, bro. You know, we talked um, a lot this week. Um, yeah. So I want you to just kind of, we were talking about your ranking, man. You know, you made your announcement today. Um, I know me and talked about it Monday and stuff. How does it feel, bro? You know, once you got the phone call and said, hey, I'm bump, you know, your rank is going to bump up. What, what did it feel like? Sense of release, you know, just proud moment. Like, how did that go for you? You know, it, it, it's nice to be respected a little bit, you know. Um, right. I still feel like, you know, you know, you can't always have the mentality. I always feel like I'm better than even that ranking I was given, but I'm extremely grateful. And, you know, I thank God every day for the position I'm in. You know, I tweeted out in that tweet, you know, a year ago from today, I had no offers, no stars, 
barely anybody knew who I was, barely any from any colleges. And now I'm you know, here a few days from signing. I'm now a four star and going to be making my announcement on national television on CBS. And, you know, it really goes to show you what hard work and dedication can do for you and just staying consistent and never giving up. You know, there's there's so many times over the past year where I looked myself in the mirror and just said, what is this worth it? You know, all this all the sacrifices I was making and everything I was doing, I I didn't know if it was going to be worth it. And just seeing everything, you know, come to fruition now is amazing. And, you know, I, I told this to my dad today. I'm like, Dad, I'm going to look back at this tweet in three to four years while I'm, my name's in the NFL draft, and I'm going to say, wow, that was a cool too, but this moment's even cooler. Right. Man. Nah, I mean, that's, that's for sure, man. And, you know, big congratulations, bro. Uh, me and Dave were talking definitely well-deserved. We watched the film. You know, we, we've seen you time and time again, bro. You're definitely a fan favorite, like I keep telling you. Um, something that obviously changed, right? So you were going to make an announcement today and uh, got a couple phone calls and stuff like that, man, and you decided to move it to Tuesday, right? Yes. So um, – did that change much of your decision? Did it kind of relieve you? Like, man, I don't have to make it like quickly now and kind of sit back and, you know, take a breath and a moment and see the, you know, in, uh, the in-home visits and my, my visits to these schools, you know, kind of get a little more time. You know, you're not like, well, I got two, three days now. I got a week. Um, how are you feeling about this commitment? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing was that I wanted, you know, these new rankings to come out, obviously. Um, and I also, the just being able to get on CBS, um, kind of the deal was it made the most sense for every like everything to be able to get me on the first. So I didn't really see a whole lot of difference in, um, you know, committing on the first. Right. No, definitely, man. Um, so, I mean, I know, I know this answer. We've talked about this, but the chat wants to kind of know, um, have you sat down and talked with the family? Have y'all made a decision? Um, you know, or is it still, you you know, kind of in between, still looking at it, waiting for this tournament to end? Where are, you, where are you sitting at right now? It's still, it's still tough for me. I still haven't come to a final decision. And it's, you know, both places are, you know, amazing. And um, it's just tough. You know, it's, it's a decision that's going to, you know, affect me for the next three or four years. And one thing I'll say, man, I know the U is going to be great because Coach Cristobal is the man. I mean, he is the man. I mean, that guy – I mean, I just got a text from him, like, as we speak right now. He just texted me. He just me. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, come, come on, Dude, I said, what's up? Hey, if he's not busy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to pop in. Yeah, man. If it wasn't a violation, that would definitely it would be. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm kidding. Don't do that. I don't want to be known as that guy, please. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's awesome, and so that's. I mean, he's and Coach Joe, and you know, Coach Smith, and Coach Mirabal. Just like the amount of love that they send me all the time, it's just like so special. And you know, I did see one of the comments. I'll I'll open the chat because I can look at. It. I'll I'll answer some of y'all's questions too if y'all want me to. Yeah. Uh, saw one that said, why didn't I take an official down to Miami? This is a great question because a lot of people have been wondering this and a lot of people have been like, oh, he's obviously not going to Miami, didn't take an official. The reason I didn't take an official is just because of, you know, kind of time. And also when I went down on my unofficial, it was on Martin Luther King Day. So every single one of the coaches on the coaching staff were there. And I was the only recruit there for the entire day. So I got to hang out with the entire staff for – like 11 hours so i mean in my opinion it was better than an official visit because you know right. you know i'm not a big person that needs to be wined and dined and stay at a fancy restaurant you know i've i've been to miami price you know 40 times in my lifetime so you know i've been a bit know what it's about and been to all the cool places and for me it was just getting to spend that quality time with the coaches and you know being able to do that was you know amazing because you know i just they were there the whole day and just spending hours with Coach Chris Ball and hours with Coach Joe and hours with Coach Smith. It, it really made an impression on me and my family as well. You know, the coaches really getting to, you know, know my family. We went out to eat and you know, just it was so casual too. That's that's the thing about it that's so crazy. I just feel like, you know, they're could be great mentors for me, but also just they're super likable people and just good people. 
And that's the thing that I'm so amazed about by the Miami staff. Just so you know, and this might sound like a little sales pitch, and maybe it is, I don't know, but that's that's like that's so legit and so sincere because you know, I talk to a lot of recruits, he talks to a lot of guys, and you hear that consistently. Like every single dude that I talk to says that same thing. Am I lying? I mean, that's like how you know it's so easy when you're around those guys, it's just it just flows and everybody says the same thing so you you know that's it's legit when you hear it time and time again so uh, yes. what you're seeing there that's not just a, a recruiting tool or something he uses there there's dudes from Oregon you know when he was at Oregon that have said that same thing I've seen videos of guys that, that committed to him at Oregon they've said the exact same thing so he's been consistent with that throughout his career so what you're seeing there is real man yes and yeah. you um you mentioned this to me um, off air, right? You got the chance to talk to a Miami Hurricane legend, right? A, a great yeah. somebody who wore that number 44, right? I what did. was that like for you? Um, you know, did you get to talk long? You know, we can kind of give you some advice. Um, what was that moment like for you? So, I mean, I'll, I'll go. Th- I mean, we were just walking, me and Chris Christopher, like I said, just having that experience of being like the only guy there and being able to hang out with the coaches that whole day. I mean, we were just hanging out and we walked by the Dan Moria mural in the uh, you know football building. And I was like, man, that's an amazing player right there. That's an idol. And he said, you want to talk to him? And I was like, uh, <laughs> I mean, and he's like, here, I'll put him on FaceTime. And he goes, he goes Chris Ball just FaceTimed him. And I got on the phone with him for five minutes. And, you know, he was just telling me about, you know, how much the U meant to him and, you know, what the real U stands for and what Miami can do for you. And, you know, how he, you know, sees how hard I work. And, you know, Coach Chris Ball has told him a lot about me. And, you know, and then I talked to him. And then, you know, later that day, he obviously, you know, gave me a little tweet endorsement too. So it was just surreal. So it was like almost surreal, you know, a guy like that, you know, being able to talk to a great and it's special. That's for real, man. So there's a question in the chat. Um, I know a kid, but they want to know if you've talked to any current um, Hurricane commit signees, um, you know, as far as like guys that are on campus, or, uh, on campus right now or some of that have they'll arrive in like the summer. Yeah, I've talked to uh, Moss and Skinner and a few of the other guys. So I, I've been in I think I've I forget who all, but I've I've texted probably five or six of the kids in the class and they've been, you know, you know, trying to recruit me also. So it's been cool. And um yeah, it's been awesome. I've heard from a few of the players on on the team and just kind of give me their message and you know asking them real questions about how things are going and that's All the right. biggest thing for me. I want to know what things are going actually like. You know, you hear it from the coaches saying you know we had a great week, things are moving in the right direction, but I want to hear that from the players. You know, and that's all I've heard. So, you know, I, I really know it's going to be a good team. So. Something I've actually – I haven't asked any guy that's been on our show yet. Um, and it's kind of weird because he's – this guy is a very animated. He's a guy that, like, the whole fan base loves right now, right? Coach failed. The strength and condition coach. What was it like first meeting that guy? <laughs> he's intense. Um, and he says he has two modes, chill and kill. I think that's what it was. It was like kill mode and chill mode. That's it. Only two. There's no in-between. Kill or chill, and you know he. It was pretty cool. He asked me. He asked like me and my family a question. He's like, "You want to be great, right?" And I said, "Yes, sir." He's like, "Do you have a choice to be great?" And I said, "Yes, sir." And he said, "No, you don't." And I said, "I was confused." And he said, "When you choose to be, when you make the conscious choice to be great, you eliminate decisions, and you have to do whatever it takes to be great." And I think that was just something that was like really cool. And just he's so different in the way that he approaches everything. You know, he doesn't just talk about strength training and he talks about mind training. I mean, the strength training is a big part of it. But he says without the mind training and being able to he calls it a flow state of mind without being able to tune into your mind and being able to really tap in to the potential in here. You can't maximize your potential of your body. And so like. His presentation is the things he talked about, how genuine and how knowledgeable he was with everything was amazing. And he he is a monster. <laughs> that dude knows 
his stuff and the staff he's putting together as far as, you know, the pieces and tools and his, um, his weight room staff is also amazing. You know, every single one of them top to bottom was decorated and knew everything. So it was, it was great. Yeah, that's just that, man. So I'm going to pass it over to my, my co-host, man. I'm I know he's been chomping at the bit all day, you know, to get get this opportunity. So I'm gonna let him have his moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> I, I'll I'll be quick, man. I'll be quick. Get out of the way. No, uh, I just want to talk to you because I know, obviously, communication with Coach Cristobal, Coach Joe, and all that has gone on. But then you actually had an in home this week. Yes. Talk to us about that. How did that go? What was the presentation? What did you guys talk about? Just the whole that whole experience. I want to hear about that. Um, it, it was awesome. You know, they were at my house for two and a half hours. Um, we just got to, to hang around, chill out, talk life, talk ball, talk everything. And you know, we asked a lot of questions. We pretty much asked every single question we wanted to know. Um, and they had an answer for everything, and it was it was awesome. You know, um, their message is basically how important I am to them and how important I am to developing the culture that they want at Miami. You know, I'm the exact player that Coach Cristobal wants as far as mindset, mentality, grit, determination. And they just continue to preach the message of how important I am to the class and how important I will be to the U and how big of an impact I could make my freshman year. You know, they see me as a guy, you know, as developed up, uh, as developed as I am and how hard I've worked and how hard I'll continue to work that, they see me coming in and being able to make a day one impact and, you know, almost be like an upperclassman. And so that's really cool to hear. And, you know, it really makes me feel about it and everything I've done and how hard I've worked. So the, the, the enthusiasm and the mindset you talked about with Coach Feld, do you pick up on any of that from like Coach Joe and Coach Cristobal as well? Is there an intensity there that you see kind of throughout the rest of the staff, not just with Coach Feld, but is it consistent throughout the whole building, you think? Yes, the entire staff is extremely energized. I mean, it, when I came for my um, visit, I, mean, I walked in the door and there was 25 coaches sitting there and just yelling, cheering my name. And I was like, wow, this is different. This is crazy. I mean, they're all just like, yeah. And I was like, wow, just day one walking in the door. I mean, that's how the whole staff is. I mean, every single person on that staff has shown incredible energy, incredible enthusiasm, and just – happy to be there and happy to get after it. You know, that's the biggest thing, you know, some of the visits I've been on, you know, the staffs just haven't impressed me as far as their enthusiasm and, you know, how much they really felt like they cared, but every single coach and every single person in the, in that Miami staff is just so genuine and, you know, they give you such a good vibe and it's, it's awesome. Yeah. That, that is a great point because I think a lot of fans need to hear that because obviously with the coordinator hires going on, Mario Cristobal is very picky, I guess, is the word of who he's bringing in with his staff. It's got to be a fit. You've got to have that mindset. You've got to be able to fit with that, you know, and that whole puzzle. He's not just going to bring somebody in just to fill a spot. So I think that's very important. Um, have, yes. they men have they mentioned to you at all? Obviously, you know, a D.C. has not been named yet, and that's, you know, is what it is. But just out of curiosity, not to get too far into it, have they mentioned to you maybe – a style or type of defense that they might be looking at? And if they have, do you think that fits your style and kind of what you've been playing? you think that's going to be a good fit for you? Yeah, from what it sounds like, they're going to run more of a four down line. They're going to be more of a four down line team. Uh, some, okay. you know, some three down uh, packages, but it sounds like that's what the mold they're looking for. And they obviously see me as an edge rusher with, you know, potentially to be able to grow into a strong side defensive end. But as as of right now, they see me be able to scream off the edge at however much I weigh, you know, it just depends on where my body's going. So that's that's the beauty of it. And, you know, obviously he's, you know, Coach Chris, well, I can't really say too much, but he's talked to me about, you know, where the direction is going for as far as D.C. and whatnot and some of the other coaching positions that are needed to fill. But right. I can't really say out loud, but um, – I'm happy and I'm definitely extremely, extremely excited for the direction that he's taking this in. Hey, good enough for me. Uh, just one or two more things and then I'll, I'll get it back to E. But I believe you've got a tournament coming up this weekend. Is that correct? I do. Right. Yes. So that, that's kind of keeping you from coming back on campus this weekend. If you if you had wanted to or thought of that, you've kind of got something else going on this weekend, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's one of the biggest tournaments of the year, and it's going to be a lot of top-ranked guys in the state there, so I'll finally get some good competition. So I'm okay. excited. Got you. Got get you. Them back. Awesome. Last thing, and this is really not football-related. This is just kind of something I was curious about. So I know you do a lot of mat work, and, you know, you're obviously – you know your way around, and, and, and you're pretty pretty good at that. Um, you, you put a video out a week or so ago and was showing some highlights from a tournament and things like that. But I was interested in the choice of music. You were playing like Toby Keith. Is that is? And I want to know: Is that you? Is that Dad? Is that just random? Is that that's me? That is it really? That's me. Yeah, you're a Toby Keith guy. Big country guy. Old country, new country, mostly old country. I like you know more, a little more classic. You know, the good guys. You know. Oh yeah. Hold oh, on now. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because this whole chat now is going to be laughing at me because I'm a country dude. <laughs> yep. I'm telling, you can tell I'm not from Miami. I don't know if you can tell by the way I talk. Me yep. and he sound a little different. Yeah, my mom's whole side of the family is from South Carolina, and, you know, that's where she's from. And my dad, you know, grown up in Jacksonville, Florida his whole life, and his dad was from Georgia. And so, you know, I got I got country in me, and I got family. I got that's, you. Yeah. You, you got you got any of the old dudes, the classic guys that you really like, or you just kind of like everybody? Or? I like Waylon Jennings a lot. I like Hank Williams Jr. a lot. I like uh, – that's funny. Let's pop on now and again. I like uh, I like Johnny Cash. Like Boy, if you don't come to the U, <laughs> you take it. I can't take this no more. <laughs> yeah. gone. I, I love it. You know, it's it depends on my mood though. I'm a big you know new rap guy. I listen to. I got you. I, I listen. I listen to old like pop from the early 2000s. But I'm a big music guy. I like everything. You know, it's it just depends on my mood. Sometimes I'll put on slow music. Who knows? Yeah, I got but, you. Yeah. Hey, good food. You already know my old country playlist is coming on, and I'm I'm in my car singing. Man, I just love it because everybody gets on me about being country. If my <laughs> dude comes to you, y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me no more. I got backup now. <laughs> say something. Go oh ahead. yeah, take it, man. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> so obviously, we talk a lot about Miami, right? That's what we're surrounded by. But you put out a, a top two. You know, Miami and Auburn. So give me something that's very attractive to Auburn, right? What what is about Auburn that put them in your top two? Yeah, I say it's the tradition and just what Auburn stands for. You know, just their fan base and you know the you know the message that Coach Harson has is that that program's going in the right direction and um it's, it's a place that's just really special in college football. You know, the amount of support it gets from its fans, and it's it's a ride-or-die kind of place. And it's very similar in that way to Miami in that the fan base is awesome in these two places. And it's part of the reason which makes the decision so hard is just because when you really look at it, you know, they're both big Power 5 programs with massive fan bases, but they're completely different. You know, Miami is a metropolitan area of 6 million people, and – you know, it's a smaller campus of 7,500 students and, you know, it's a stadium uh, away from campus. And then you got Auburn that's, you know, a college town. That's that's it. So that's what it is, college, you know, city of 60,000, 35,000 students, big college. So it's, it's just two completely different places. And that's why it's, you know, people like try to say like, oh, you know, it's just, you just got to compare them. It's like, no, this is like comparing oranges to apples. This is not apples to apples for me. You know, you got to look at every little thing. And so that's part of the reason why it's been so grueling for me is like really deciding what's most important to me. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely, you know, because like I told you at the end of the day, man, it's you that's got to go to practice, you that's got to go to class and go to these meetings and, you know, deal with Coach Crystal Ball because, you know, or even Coach Feld, which is a maniac, right? Um, so, I mean, I know it's a big step, bro, you know, in your future and, you know, where you're about to head. Um, you know, we wish you definitely all the best, bro. We're gonna be tuned in next uh Tuesday. Um, did they announce the time? Is it in the morning or in the uh, afternoon? AM on CBS HQ. You so said 11 a.m. Yep, 11 a.m. Eastern. Okay, I got you, man. Um, either way, man, we'll probably bring you back on, just kind of talk about your decision, you know, definitely because I know it's a big moment for you guys. Um, we'll be in touch this weekend, bro, as you know, we'll talk about your tournament. You know, I'm going to check and see how it went and everything, bro. Um, if you got time, man, hop in the chat. These dudes in here are buzzing about you, bro. Um, 
But, you know, it's always love, bro. Um, you know, we appreciate you coming on. Appreciate the time, man. And uh, we'll definitely have you back on soon. Yes, sir. Sounds good. All Go right, Kane, bro. Have a good Go one, man. <laughs> All right. I'll shout out to y'all later. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anytime, Anytime, bro. Anytime. <laughs> yes, sir. Y'all have a great night. You too. Bro. You too, man. Bro. I had to take a minute right quick, right? 360 in the chat. Everybody go smash that like button. Jack's about to hop in the chat and chop it up with you guys. Um, please go show that man love. Please go tune in to, to his uh, commitment. Uh, that guy's about as genuine as it comes. Um, if you don't believe it, go talk to his coaches. Go talk to his friends. Go talk to anybody around that 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 bowl school in Jacksonville. Um, he definitely has a lot of love for Coach Crystal Ball. He's definitely got a lot of love for the University of Miami. Um, I could only, bro, I can only imagine. You know, my, I'm a legacy to Auburn. You know, I, I got family that sends there. You know, I, I got everything. Like they're pitching to me in, in South Florida. Um, you know, I'm a Florida kid. I can go down and play. And I go, I, bro, I, I don't, I, w- I wouldn't want to make that decision, to be honest with you. That dude's got to be insane right now, right? How you feeling, bro? I know, I know he kind of gave you the bubble guts for a minute. Um, how we feeling, bro? Man, I'm going to tell you, if, if he comes to the U, I, uh, hang on, I'm getting a text. If he comes to the U, I'm gonna get you, and we we gonna hop in the truck, bro, and you are gonna listen to some damn Johnny Cash or <laughs> something. <laughs> it's crazy. Everything that dude talks about, man, it just it just lines up. It just lines up. I just can't imagine, bro, with his enthusiasm and how much he loves the program and all that. If he actually commits and puts on that uniform and runs out onto that field for the first time, man, can oh, you I'm even imagine? That. I'm there Dang. week one. I'm there yeah. spring game. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty yeah. sure he'll be, he'll be well no, he he's not an early enrollee. Dang, so he won't make spring game. I'm definitely there the week one though. Um man, we got 360 in the chat. We got 150 likes, bro. Y'all gonna make that make sense, man. Y'all go smash that like button, bro. I'm gonna get to these donos real quick. Um our guy Ant, the major and the uh the the chats, man, four nine four ninety nine don't know. Uh, we appreciate it, bro. Yeah, that, that dude is y'all. He, y'all love this dude, bro. Um, man, I I I couldn't even get to all the questions, bro. Um, and just so y'all know, somebody asked me. Uh, they texted me. Yes, he was reading your guys' message. Um, he popped the chat open so he can kind of tune in and, and see what you guys were saying on his own as well. Um, Mondo again with the 1999 pop burn wearing 44 on Saturdays as a cane is a perfect fit. Great kid. Whatever you decide, wish you well, 100%, bro. Appreciate the dono, man. Um, there was another one. There was a couple more. Um, get to these right quick before we get on. Um, we got somebody else coming, too, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Waiting on him to, to hop on the show. Trying to get to these. Y'all was buzzing, bro. I mean, it was comments after comments waiting on trying to talk to Z- uh, Jack. <laughs> Told me, how can you not love the kid? Top quality young man. No doubt bro five dollar don't know we appreciate it man um like i said bro y'all go smash that like button for us um we definitely fixing to get into our next guest and then our, our topic of, the, of discussion tonight um real quick while we're waiting on him what are we feeling bro um are we um are we feeling good are we feeling feeling on the wall how you feeling come tuesday at 11 a.m Feeling like like he gonna be a king? Like yeah. He gonna be a yeah, man, I'm too I'm too up here now. Uh, you should ask me that <laughs> question this morning, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm up here. Yeah, there ain't no way. I, I'm not I'm not I'm not going to downplay that that positive vibe, man. That energy he puts out. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, bro, man, he, and bro I, I, yeah. If and if he's if he's like that and he's talking to 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 the Auburn crowd, you know what I'm saying? They got to be pumped up too because that dude right there, just the positivity. Yeah. The way he carries himself and all that, man, it just it just bleeds out. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel really good about I feel good about Tuesday, man. I really do. Yeah, um, 
like I, I like a lot of people, bro. They're like, oh man, he's he's Auburn lean. He's going to Auburn. He's got crystal ball going to Auburn. Da, 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 whatever, whatever. Man, I don't even I racks where the hell he's going. Either way, bro, I'm, I'm rooting for this kid. Um, he didn't troll. He's hopped on here a bunch of times and, and just talked about his experience, right? Even if he does not come, he's given a lot of Hurricanes fans exactly what they want to hear, right? He's talking yeah. about how Mario's recruiting, how Coach Salabea is is coming at him. Um, he's talking about the future of the program. He's given us exactly what we want to hear, right? He's given us everything that we we have questions about. Um so just to to hear that, have him hop on and kind of just talk about it, bro. I, I'm I'm endorsed by it, bro. Like I'm good to go, right? Yeah, and, and I'll I'll say this: anybody that's going to sit there and say, "Man, he's not coming. He's going to Auburn." Two things: number one, this is it's called recruiting. Number two, none of us know what's going to happen. We all got our you know, crystal balls and her confident scores. And I think this and that and da, 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 bro. You could have a confident score of a, of a nine and the next day it don't go that way. You know, this as well as I do. Anybody that doesn't know that you've not looked at recruiting at all. So uh, my gut, how I feel, how am I supposed to feel after, a, uh, you know, a talk like that? And that's not the first time. And you know, this is as well as I do talk yeah. to this guy outside of, you know, off air, off the show, We've had him on the show before, and it's consistent every time you talk to the young man. So, you know, how am I supposed to feel? Why in the world would I sit here and say, no, he's not coming here? You know, it, it happens. It's recruiting. Maybe he won't. He's going to do what's best for him and best for his family. If he doesn't come here, it's not a shot at Miami. Y'all got to realize that. Mm-hmm. And he, he was saying this is a three- or four-year decision. This is a 30-year decision for him. This is going to affect the rest of his life. So, you know, you know, let him enjoy this process. Uh, do what's best for him. I just hope what's best for him is having that you on the side of his helmet. Yeah, man, a real quick, I want you to go ahead and introduce your guest, man. Um, let everybody know who we have on and uh, have at your boy, man. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing pretty good. How are y'all? We're doing good, man. We appreciate your time. Uh, I know you're busy, got a lot going on, so we'll get, get you kind of in and out. Uh, just real quick, how many people we got in the chat right now, E? Uh, around 370. All right, we about got 370, call about 400 people kind of checking you out. So just tell us real quick who you are, you know, where you're from, high school, position, just a little bit about yourself real quick. Uh, my name is Jonathan Klein. Uh, I'm the left tackle for Cartersville High School up in North Georgia. Uh, and I've just, uh, I'm a regular Georgia boy, I guess. Uh, Miami offered me a few weeks, a few weeks ago, and I went down there for the first, and I just fell in love with it. Got you. Um, love the hat, by the way. So we're off to a very good start. Uh, that, that's fantastic. Nice touch right there. So your recruitment, I know you've, you've had some offers and you're kind of early in the process. You know, you've got a ways to go with this, but it's got to be kind of exciting because you've had some some offers. I know, like you know, App State, Connecticut, East Carolina, something like that, some solid programs. But then over the past week, you've had some some things happen, you know, but Georgia Tech, NC State, Carolina, uh, Miami, you know, you, you've got some some things going on now. Um, what's that been like, man, the past week? Has it been kind of a whirlwind, kind of a blur? Did you expect this, or is this just kind of coming out of left field for you? Uh, this is uh, this is totally new to me. I did not expect this at all. Um, I was absolutely blown away when Coach Mirabal had texted me on Twitter. He had said, hey, Jonathan, uh, love your film, love your tape. Uh, here's my phone number. I want you to call me. I called him, you know, informed me of the offer, informed me of the university, uh, some basic knowledge of it so that you get the ball rolling a little bit. And, you know, that kind of started the ball rolling because my first power five, uh, because UCF is still Conference USA. They haven't moved up yet. Um, so that kind of got the ball moving. And then this week, it's just been hectic. I don't think, I mean, I've skipped lunch maybe twice because of all the coaches that have had to come through there and you know i shake their hand and a lot of them i mean I, i've seen four or five guys in my head coach's office at the same time watching my film so i mean it's just a it's, it's an honor it's a blessing uh I, I mean i loved miami when i went down there coach mirror ball just came back up here to see me um a lot of it has to do with our o-line um there's me i'm getting recruited obviously 
and um, we have a sophomore, uh, sophomore right tackle who's coming up. He's six six, three hundred pounds. He's going to be somebody for us. He's getting a lot of these looks too. Uh, his guard, right guard, is in my grade. He hasn't got a lot of looks yet, but he's uh, about six one, about two eighty. And then our center, he just got his, I believe, first two offers. Maybe one from UAB, one from ECU. His name's Luke Surrett. He um, he's also a sophomore. So we have a really solid O line. Um, the uh, we actually won the Georgia State Offensive Line Award for one week this uh, year. We scored the most points on one of our rival teams than anyone else has since 2011, and I believe we threw the ball less than 10 times. Wow! Wow! I I can't say I blame you. I mean, with a line like that, you know, you just kind of line up and go. So, so you told us something about some of your teammates and all that. What, what are you measuring at right now, Hot and Wick? Um, I'm about six three, six four, two hundred thirty five pounds. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so that's all. I'm gonna let, pass it back to E for just a minute. I'll uh, let you kind of talk for a minute, and then you can get it back to me. And I'll ask one more, one or two more, and then we'll kind of let you get on with your night. Go ahead, E. Yeah, man. Um, so appreciate you coming on, man. Um, I got the ability to see you this weekend. Um, obviously, I didn't get the link with you and meet you and stuff like that. But um, talk to us a little bit just about how your visit went um, to Miami. Um, was it your first time here? And if it was, like, did it meet your expectations? Or, like, was it just, like, oh, everything you expected? Um, I mean, this was honestly my first real visit. I went to some game day visits this past year. But none of them had amounted to this. I got to see the whole, you know, the whole school. We went to catch a basketball game. I got to see the whole facility that I'd be pretty much living at, you know, the football facility in the workout room, um, in the weight room. Uh, I had a lot of one-on-one with the staff. So, I mean, I loved it. It, it surpassed my expectations. Um, I, I, I loved it. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Um, I know Coach Crystal Ball and the staff kind of said, hey, hush, hush on can't take no pictures of what the plan is and stuff like that. Um, but when he got to that presentation and stuff and they were showing you what the future looks like in Miami, um, what was that like seeing just the plans they have uh, to take the University of Miami? I mean, honestly, seeing what they already had blew me away. And to think that they're going to go so much farther and all these buildings are going to be so much bigger and the quality is going to be so much better. It just – it really – it really surprised me that it could it could keep going because i mean just seeing all this for the first time it, it just like i said it blew my expectations so knowing now that it's going to surpass those and everything's going to be expanded bigger better i mean it just it blew me away yeah yeah i mean it's definitely um i mean i've been to this campus for years now man and it has definitely already grown uh, from what it used to be i know they're trying to take it to the next level so you know, it's fun for us as fans to watch, you know, where we're going to get to. Hopefully you'll be able to get down and watch a game and stuff this year. Um, what's the message that Coach Mirabal is kind of pitching to you? Like, you know, what what's some things he's, you know, kind of just telling you um, as far as your recruiting? I mean, he's, I mean, he, he I liked him a lot because of the, uh, when we had our one-on-one -on -one that night, uh, and he kind of got to talk to me. I was really surprised about, I don't want to, like, maybe the maturity because, you know, he wasn't pressuring me to commit. He wasn't saying, you know, we have this, we have that. It's better than everyone else. It's all this and all that. He just, it was like he personally cared about my well-being no matter where I went. Um, so I really loved that. Um, a lot of the things, you know, he, he coached my, he, he coached Miller Forstall. Miller Forstall is um, my one of my good friends' older brother. So me and Miller are really close. So when I got on the phone with Miller that night, you know, he was telling me how much of a great man Coach Crystal Ball was. So, I mean, uh, having that other source come to me, like how he's going to be whenever we are at practice. And I'm also looking forward to getting on there for a junior day. Um, so, I mean, just that one-on-one that -on -one experience that he had, to come over to me and tell me that he's he's just as good as guy on and off the field. I mean, I, I loved it. And I I'm, I just – I loved his character and uh, his personality. Yeah, he's a, he's a different specimen, that's for sure. Um, so, 
a lot of times we see, you know, you're you're in North Georgia, um, you know, way different from South Florida, right? Um, so you'll see like a lot of guys, a lot of fans, um, you know, they always say, man, you can't pull a guy out of SEC country to come down to paradise, man. These boys going to stay, you know, in the college town, da 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 do you see can does it matter to you do, do you have to be in a college town or can you see yourself playing down in you know paradise um as an old country boy you know i can show you some good fishing spots if that's what you want um but no just just you know in general what like what does that matter to you or is it like i don't care i want to go, go get coached by the best that it is and you know that's what i'm gonna play honestly i mean I do want to play, but at the same time, I'm thinking about my first year because I want to get the size and the uh, the proportion that they want on me. So I am uh, as ready as I can get. You know, uh, I I'm not biased of any school, any any conference. I don't really care. Uh, I grew up without a, my dad left. Um, my stepdad he stepped in. Uh, he took the title of dad. I'll give it to him. He he adopted me a few years ago. Love him. Um, he but whenever he first came into my life he was always around for business so i've only been really watching football you know constantly for only about two or three years now so i'm not i'm not biased of a team you know georgia won the natty this year and i was like you know home state i guess go but i mean <laughs> i'm not biased of anybody uh right. and i'm i'm i'll go down to paradise if i i love it so i'm thinking about it yeah that's, that's definitely, man. I just got one last question. I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, man. Um, do you have a timeline or a time frame of early sign of day, national sign of day that you would like to commit on? Um, I'm looking to commit before or halfway through my senior season. So I, I want a good right. idea of where I want to go and where I want to continue my uh, academic and athletic um, career. Gotcha, man. I definitely appreciate your time, man. I'm going to pass it on over to my co-host. And uh, just a couple more things, and, and we'll let you slide on out. But just to touch on what you said, uh, we had um, a 22 uh, recruit on right before you uh, that we're hoping uh, will we'll end up at the U. And when we were talking to him, he mentioned about how sincere and what what a good person coach Cristobal seems like and all that stuff and I told him and I'll tell you the same thing this is going to sound like a sales pitch and it probably is but that's that's like sincere and legit every recruit that I talk to that interacts with him you hear the exact same story and even not just at Miami you talk to to young men that were recruited at Oregon you know by him and it's the same thing and so the family thing, it's legit, it's sincere. You come to you, man, you're going to be in love, don't like family. Uh, that's just the way that, that he does things there. So uh, that's legit. So after that, um, a question over in the chat, and I was curious myself, and I'm going to ask you this, and then one more, and I'll let you go. Have you had any uh, conversations with other recruits in the last week or so, or anybody that you've talked to or has reached out to you at all? I mean, are you talking, are you considering like Miami or just any other? My, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Miami. Any Miami recruits? Anyone that they're looking at or maybe commit or anything like that that you've talked with? Uh, yes. When I was down there, I actually I met a good friend. His name's Landon. He's from Washington. Uh, I think we're gonna start. Landon Hatcher, by chance? Yes, sir. yes, sir. We know him. He was on a week or two ago. Man, this is a good night right here. But I'm sorry. This is great. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, me, me and Landon kind of connected, and we're, we're going to stay in touch for a while. We loved it down there. Me, him, and uh, Coach Mirabal got a couple pictures. Me and him got some pictures together. We we, we really loved it down there. Mm, that's great stuff. So I know you seem to be – I would say label you as somewhat of a gym rat, am I right? Like I know you like to get in there, right, a little bit? Uh, Just a little bit. I believe I saw a little something today. You might have hit a personal record on the bench. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm going for the school record. What school record? What'd you throw up? About what? About 250, 300? What'd you throw up? About 410. About 410. Dang. So, <laughs> leading into that, did you get a chance to meet Coach Feld at all? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I had how, I, how'd that go? Sorry. Oh, I mean, no. I, was, I loved it. He, he was. He was the right kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> oh, that's he, great. Uh, we were in the weight room. He was discussing everything that he's going to go after. 
you know, the momentum and the energy that he brings is just so, so amazingly high. And I, and the standard is so high and I love it. Like I said, like you, sorry, like you said, I love the gym. I'm always in the gym as much as I can be. I'm trying to go for this school bench record because it's the closest thing I got. Uh, it's 445 and I just hit 410 after a really hard workout. So I'm hoping I can get even higher next week. Um, mm. Squats, you know, everyone hates them. I love them because I hate them. You know, you got to love what you hate worst yep. because if not, you got to work on the best, uh, the worst part of yourself to make yourself better. Um, so, I mean, like, I, I'm just trying to be the best person I can in and out of the weight room. And I really look forward to if I commit and I go to my, um, the U, I, I really looking forward to what he can do for me in the weight room. Man, absolutely. Sounds like a match to me, but I'm a little biased. So uh, that, that's just my <laughs> personal opinion. But yeah, but no, watch, watching your film, you know, I watched your film and all that. And then talking to you now in person, I can see where all that kind of matches up. You, you carry yourself well. You're well spoken, a uh, great young man. You seem to be, and on the field, uh, I, w I was really impressed with not just your size, but you move extremely well out there. And I can tell that you put that work in uh, off the field, so uh, you, you can see that it transpires in your game. So uh, keep Thank doing you. that, absolutely, man. Hey, uh, we know you got you got some things going on tonight, so we're going to let you get on out of here. Um, we appreciate your time. We're excited to see your recruitment, you know, as it plays out. We hope you end up at the U, obviously. Yes, sir. But, of course, you've got to do, you know, best thing for you, the best thing for your family and all that. Uh, big shout-out to, to Dad uh, for for his role and what he's doing there. Uh, shout-out to Mom as well and, and and all that, man. I hope everything works out for you. You're welcome here anytime. Open invitation. Anytime you want to hop on and chop it up about the Canes, feel free, and we'll be in touch. All right. Thank you so much for y'all's time. All right, man. You too. Have a great night. You too. Bye, y'all. All right, bro. See you. Well, Mr. Klein, 410, bro? 410, dude. I seen it today. Oh. And I was like. This the, is this the first thing that popped in my head, bro. He could shatter. Like, bro. He going to be pushing that before he gets out of high school, dude. <laughs> dude, I literally, man, I was like, bro. Ain't no way. 410 as a junior? As a junior, bro. Man. And now here, here's the thing. With, with y'all hearing this, and I know, like, you know, we're recruiting, you know, nerds. Like, we don't have a life, and this is kind of what we do. So watching film, you know, I like to watch a lot of film. Hearing what you just heard from that dude, his size, throw up 410, you need to go watch his film and see how he moves, how athletic, how he moves on his feet, gets downfield. There's one play where the quarterback throws an interception, and I promise you the dude that intercepted that was wishing he would have just batted it down because this guy right here caught him coming out of bounds and just put one on him, son. I mean, he, he he's phenomenal. He's a great athlete. So I'm yeah. loving these dudes, man, that Mirabal's going after, don't you? You And you talk about people movers, right? Like yeah. people that are just human movers, right? Yeah. This is another dude that's a, a human mover right, right. Uh, i know you saw the clip i you you see every damn clip right bro the first clip i see is this dude is taking somebody through the bench and yes. just <laughs> shove them and walk bro i was like oh my god bro um you know what's crazy you know what's crazy about that cat right there though it's like i'm watching this film right and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden it switches to defense and i'm like well, hold up but yeah, I want you know, let's put that cat on the D line, man. Clog that middle up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We haven't had something like that in you know in a long time. Like those are those are you talk about people movers, but on the other side of the ball that just makes yeah. a difference. You know what I'm saying? You get a good you watch him play defense and the way he gets in that backfield and moves. Yeah, yeah. Insane, bro. Um, real Ooh. quick, man. Appreciate the dono that uh Felix. You guys are bringing yeah. the heat tonight. I'm so damn fired up. I can tell you guys are also. Yeah, boy. The show. We appreciate it, bro. We're coming around 350 tonight. Y'all, please go smash that like button. Um, so let's, I want to get, before we get up out of here, right? I want to talk about this weekend. I really, really want to talk about this weekend, right? So what does this weekend mean to you? Uh, I think this is where, you know, no pressure, but you know, it's just caught it like it is. You know, that's my style. But this is where we need to. I'm. Let's, I want to see something. I mean, we've got we've got recruiters in the building. 
right? Mm-hmm. You know, even without a full staff, but the staff we've got there, if you want to talk quality over quantity, like it's, it's, this is, this is the staff. This is the definition of that. And we've got some dudes coming in this weekend that I fully expect to be canes before they walk out of there. Not all of them, not all of them. And I've got, there's several that I don't expect to be canes. But we've got a couple on there that I expect to be canes before the weekend's over. I really do. I want to see this staff do what we know it can do. We've been waiting. We've been patient. And I, you know, if it's selfish of me, Take me to court. That's cool. But I'm ready to see some decisions. I want to see some names. Like, I want to see this, and maybe because I'm a recruiting guy, and you are as well, I want to see this more than, like, the coordinator names and stuff, to be honest with you. Like, I'm ready for something to pop. You know what I mean? I want some some fireworks. Man, it's been a minute, you know, since we've had something recruiting-wise, you know? Yeah, 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 for sure. It's been almost uh, early Sunday day. Yeah, um, yeah. I agree, bro. Um, you know, as I go – as I look into this weekend – and the headliners across the board. Um, I feel like we get a, a, a good announcement this week, uh, this weekend. But I feel like this weekend is going to just add all the way up, right? And then National Signing Day, I just feel like it's the the old boom, right? As our, <laughs> our big fella, Coach, Coach Salavea, likes to do, right? Um, so this week, this weekend is very – very big for our coaching staff, right? For Coach Coach Crystal Ball, because at the end of the day, if you have somebody like Shamar Stewart, the number one prospect on this board, the number one defensive end, right? Like this dude is huge for the University of Miami, right? This guy himself is very intriguing because we talked about how landing James Williams and Leonard Taylor would be for the program. And we landed those guys, right? But this is Mario's first two months, right? Not even two months, really, on campus. And he comes in and puts us right in the ball game with who we already have, right? It was already signed. But what we're already leading into going into National Saturday, this dude took us from the 80s and is bringing us down into the top 20s, possibly top 15, top 10, if all goes well, right? So I'm very, very intrigued on this weekend. Real quick, I want to get into this dono sitting in with the $5. Omari Abor, the Ohio State commit. Is this a free trip, guys, or is it serious? Um, I would look too deep into it, I'm going to be honest. Um, there's not much that I've heard around that name, but – yeah, I, I wouldn't. Oh, JoJo says he's not coming this weekend. Um, so I mean, that kind of takes your your question there. Um, yeah, I didn't hear that name going into this weekend. Um, but there's there's a couple of kids that are coming, right? And I don't want to talk about the big names, right? The, the ones that we know that we need. Let's talk about some of these guys that are just like floating under the radar, right? Let's talk about them. How do you feel about Amon Moten and R. Mason, right? Two teammates, some guys that I don't know how our last staff never reached out to. How are you feeling about those guys? Um, I love, absolutely love both of them. You know, we've had, they've both been on the show. Um, Mm -hmm. Really love those guys. It's tough when a dude is already committed somewhere. And, you know, R. Mason has been committed to Iowa State for some time. I'm not saying he doesn't love Miami. I'm not saying he's not paying attention. I'm not saying he's not going to have a fantastic visit this weekend. But he's been committed to them for some time. And when, uh, and speaking to him on the phone, he, he's very high on the staff. Uh, he, he loves the whole atmosphere there. They've shown him love for a long time. And I, I'm going to be honest with you. I want him at Miami, but I love the way that he's handling all that. He's staying true to them. He hasn't backed off of that, but he, he's willing to listen. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't hurt that his teammate's going to be here with him. And, you know, his, his teammate, you know, Mo, he's got ties to the program, obviously, through his brother. Again, we've had him on the show. And I know just in the past week or two, he's been to Tennessee, North Carolina, Oklahoma. Uh, but we get him this weekend. 
I'm Man. worried about Oklahoma because not of Oklahoma, but because of Venables. That dude is a killer on the defensive side of the ball. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I would feel a little better if we had a, you know, a killer at D.C. already named and somebody really working there. But you're going to get Brett Venables at Oklahoma, and you would be out of your mind to say, well, that's not going to factor into it. It is. Uh, I'm concerned about that. I would love to land both of those two guys. I don't feel too warm and fuzzy about it. I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> nah, um, I agree, bro. Um, those dudes, I think, are two big needs, right? Um, especially if you're trying to build that D-line class up um, to stand, like a certain standard. Um, plus, we don't have a deep tackle right now. Yeah. You know, yep. we, we lost two guys. You lost Nesta and John. You know, so we definitely need some some guys, right? Um, so our Mason is, is your Nick Bonita type of guy, right, which kind of fits the Oklahoma, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, obviously it's kind of one of those mm, hopefully we we put our foot in the door this weekend but bro if it's not a guy that that can pull this off it's mario yeah like we yeah. preach this every single week bro um yeah. until he proves otherwise I, i'm gonna i'm gonna constantly say it um yeah, yeah. so kind of a name that is not mentioned as much but there should be, right? I brought him up on um, the Six Ring Pot, uh, the YouTube show yesterday. Travante Citizen. He's highly rated. He's one of your top running backs in the country. Definitely one that's uncommitted, right? Out of Louisiana. Um, he took a visit this week to Florida um, on his way down to Miami. Um, how do you feel about him? Do you feel like he's a need? Do you feel like he's a guy that is getting the right amount of attention or possibly needs some more attention? You know, um, how do you feel about Javante? I, I think he's a need because of the position, and I've said this consistently on every time I've been asked this question. It seems like everybody's under the assumption that we, you know, we don't need any running backs. We've got all these bodies at running back, and it's just not true. And when you start taking into the consideration, we, we've dealt with injuries at running back before, more than one in the same season. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you need bodies in that room. And so for that alone, yeah, I think he's a definite need. Uh, I think he needs to be shown a whole lot of love. I think he needs to be shown a whole lot of attention. And he needs to be – he needs to be – to feel like he is a need. And a guy like that, you've got to understand, he's not coming here with the intent of sitting out. You know, a dude like that's got options, and he wants to come in, and he wants to be that dude. And I think you need to show that he's going to have that opportunity. I'm not saying you guarantee it to him. That can backfire on you. But you've got to show we've got some dudes in this room, but you've, you're you going to have the opportunity to do your thing here. Only thing that worries me about that is I know, I know Auburn is showing some love over there. I think they were in home with him this week, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Yeah, I think before he left out, um, the yeah. visit. But they also have a running back that uh, exactly in Demari yeah. also, which is a beast. Um, I'm a big fan of Demari. I wanted Demari in in Miami. Yeah. Um, he's very underrated out of uh, I think Atlanta. Um, kid is he's he's legit. So he um, I don't know, bro. I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't know if he's leaning Miami. I don't know if this visit's going to to put him over you know that hump, right? Um, so I'm very intrigued on this on this visit this weekend. Yeah, I think um, I think if you show him that love, you can really you can really turn some things up. Guy. I you're really really guy. do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, and if you haven't watched his film, please oh, go turn man. his film work on. Please go turn his film on. I tell you, um, I tell you, dude, that I do feel good about it. So when you brought up while I go was Cooper, uh, I feel really solid about him yeah. this weekend. Uh, you know, he was another dude that Auburn was showing a lot of love, and from what I've been told, they've kind of they've kind of backed off some. And he's not a guy that's taking a whole lot of visits. And right. when you start looking at what might happen with with you know some of these other D linemen that we're looking at, Oklahoma coming calling and things like that, I think if you bring him in and look at him on the D, D on the D line side. And mm -hmm. really make him feel, yeah, make him feel like a kind of a priority as well. I think there's a good chance that dude doesn't leave out of Miami without a commitment this weekend. To be honest with you, I think I think he's right for the picking. 
I think it was crazy. You don't have to make him feel like it because he is yeah. a priority. He is. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm just saying, do your thing. Mario, Coach Joe, yeah. do what you do. Yeah, that's all you yeah, know. Bro. That's all you got to um, do. So I want to get to this dono because um, I want to hop back into it before we get up out of here. Yeah. Uh, told me with the $2 dono says, are we in good shape for uh, Yuli? Um, I would say as of right now, I feel confident. Uh, I'm not saying – I feel like we're going to land his commitment, but I I feel confident with uh with Yuli. What about you, D? Yeah, I would be a little bit surprised if he doesn't end up a cane, to be honest with you, because I'm not I've not been told anything else to make me you know to change my mind. I've heard good things about him, good things about his visit, and I, I've just I've just continued here to good things about his relationship that he's building with the staff, and I've not been told anything you know to make me think any different. So yeah, I feel good about him, to be honest, really good. Yeah, nah, definitely. Um, so I'm glad you brought up Mr. Cooper. Because that's kind of wanted it to end this weekend talk with him, right? Um, so like you said, he hasn't took him. He hasn't taken many visits, right? He's um he's taken a few. Auburn kind of made a quick little um, you know, like a little switch over, right? Just kind of make them feel like they're talking, interacting, um, which they very well could be. I don't I don't know that whole backstory um, with him and how that recruitment over there is going, but what's very interesting to me is, like you said, he's a guy that play on both sides of the ball, play offensive line, play defensive line. He's lost a lot of weight. Um, he's kind of got himself into shape, took football a little serious and stuff like that. Um, so I'm I'm interested to see how Coach Crystal Ball, Coach Mirabal. And Coach Salavea can change him into a guy that can you can use on, on both sides, you know, especially as a freshman. Um, he's not going to be a guy that's got to come right in and start. He, he has an opportunity to, to excuse me. Um, but I'm very intrigued to see at the end of the day, what can they do with this man in one to two years, right? A guy that that's athletic, a guy that's that twitchy, has good range, um, let him learn the defensive line and then switch him over to the offensive line and just see what see what happens you know because if you got a guy like that just say this year he red shirts imagine what he could do on a scout team for you when you're preparing you know for for your week that's what's scary and the fact that you have coaches confident enough to coach him and develop him those are the guys that we see Go float on the radar, bro, and, and end up being somebody special, right? So I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you brought him up because he's a guy that I'm going to be watching a lot this weekend just to kind of see how his weekend ends, right? Um, because I agree. He's somebody that I believe if they really push, he ends up a cane. Um yeah. So I'm very intrigued, and um, I think we get a a bit more good news this weekend. Could be recruiting, could yeah. be coaching, could yeah. be just we're happy to be Canes fans. Could be anything, right? Yeah. Um, I think all of us should be locked in to our phones this weekend. Um, this is gonna be a pretty busy weekend for for the University of Miami, okay. and I think it's where the tide really does turn. Early sign of day was was pretty nice, All right? We got some some good excitement, you know. Uh, January was was a good announcement with Cyrus Moss, but I think this is the the time in in a week span, seven days, where we sit back next Thursday on this show and talk about that weekend and just it's like a breath of fresh air. I, I really do. I think we we have a wonderful time next week talking a lot of Canes football um and I really want to get some guys on next week and kind of talk about how their their recruitment would win you know we're gonna, we're gonna try to have a special show planned again next week man um so you got any last things you want to want to bring up D before we get up out of here I think you nailed it dog it's going to be a big weekend and hopefully next week's show we can have kind of you know you know kind of a commitment type show and you know some things are really done. We're not just sort of speculating and 
this is what I think might happen. All this happened this way or that way. Maybe we can get some guys on and talk about that. And possibly, I don't know, y'all look out. We'll, we'll kind of let you know if we do. Maybe, I don't know, maybe early in the week or something. There might be a little something special uh, coming from us, but we'll see how that situation works out so now like you said man keep your eyes peeled this weekend i think we're going to get some some fireworks going this week but it's a time factor now i mean it's like it's coming down to it you don't right. really have a choice <laughs> something, something got to give so you know we'll see yeah man like i said we appreciate it man we hubbed around 350 all night uh we appreciate our guests man jack and uh jonathan appreciate them coming on um as y'all took a look out of here man please make sure y'all go smash that like button for us Put in the comments how we did, what y'all like, what y'all want to see different. Let us know what it is, man. We appreciate y'all. And as always, go Kane.